time for another Yugi openings. And today I've bought, as you can see, quite a few packs of cards. Now, actually, this is a little bit late, as I got all these from a Black Friday deal. They were all about £1 each for a pack. So I decided today that um, I'd open them up in front of you guys. Now, just to say, I'm I'm sort of a bit of a Yu-Gi-Oh noob. I um, I grew up on the series and stuff, and I do have quite a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I don't really know much about particular sets and stuff. For example, I couldn't name the dragon on the front of that pack. There, he looks really cool. I really like mech dragon things, but uh, yeah, I do not know who he is. And I decided uh, Circuit Break because the set sounded interesting, and um, I think the description said something about like weird ghouls and monsters and stuff. And I thought, well, it's a fairly big set, so we'll rip into it and see what we get. Now, because I don't know much about the set, I don't know what cards I'm looking for or anything. So we're just going to kind of go through them. Now, I don't know where the rares and the like super rares and stuff are in these packs. So I'm going to go through one regularly and then I'll try and like organise them so the good ones at the back next time. So we have Burning Bamboo Sword. And again, a lot of these are probably like... I may be pulling some pretty good commons or some absolute garbage commons. I I don't really care, honestly. I um I quite like collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, especially when they're incredibly cheap. We have a Crawler Ravia. Oh wow, that's really cool. Let's see, um, Roboty guy. Ooh, we have an Amazoness um, pet tiger. Ah oh, yes, so I'm aware of the Amazoness um, card group kind of thing. I do play a little bit of Dual Links. Oh man, yo, we got Hello Hello. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I, I really like pumpkins, so that's a rare, I think it is. Um, yeah, because it's got the hollow... T oh, wow! Ooh, yo! So I don't know if this is like a super rare or something. Borrelow Dragon, yo! So I th I've i heard things about Borrelow Dragon. Um, I think he's used quite a bit in like certain decks or whatever. Um, I don't know if he's rare or anything, I don't imagine he is. But yeah, man. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, wait, I think he's the pack monster. Yes, indeed, he does look like Borrelord Dragon. Um, yeah, nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> he, um, super rare, or whatever it is. Uh, very happy with that. Great pull for the first pack. Uh, and the rest of them is uh, Luna Light Kaleido Chick. Ah, oh. girl... Uh, a chicken girl thing? Okay. Uh, and we have Metaphys Factor. Um, seems like they've uh, kind of left off the rest of the word there, because it should be Metaphysics or something. Or, I know Metaphys maybe is like a um, type of card. Uh, and World Legacy in Shadow. Ooh. Yo, the art. The art for like Yu-Gi-Oh cards is fantastic. Um, right, ooh, wait, we've got more. Okay, um, we have Amazonist Empress. That's very nice, yo. Okay, uh, so I think there's no... Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to go double-check off-camera uh, where the rares are, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, yeah, I've um, I've worked it out. So, actually, um, this pack, uh, which contains nine cards, I believe, as it says there, um... Yeah, so I think the rare and then the whatever's behind it um, is card 4 and 5 of the pack. So, much like um, modern Pokemon packs, if I put 4 to the front, we should get um, our hype things at the end. So, 4 to the front. Let's begin with Amano Iwato. Ooh, okay. Big spirit rock face thing. Very nice. F.A. Pit Stop. Oh, nice. Okay, that's um, an interesting one. I suppose there's, like, so many different types of um, cards and stuff. Ooh, we have World Legacy and Shadow again. That looks familiar. Ah, F.A. Turbo Charger. That's cool. So that's a um, type of card as well. They're all, like, cars and stuff. Very nice. Uh, their, effects look, their effect looks massive. See, I remember back in the day where cards didn't have effects... Admittedly, a lot more of a boring card game, so... Ooh, X-Crawler Synapsis. 
synapsis. Physis? Synaphysis. Okay, interesting one. It's like a weird uh, crawly, crawly bug machine thing. Very nice. Ah, Crawler Ravier. Again, I presume it's linked to the X Crawler we just pulled. Uh, Link Infra Flyer. Very nice. So I know there's Link Monsters and stuff. Um, I think Barrel Lord Dragon is like a Link Monster, I think, because it had those arrows on the side. Ooh, we have a Metaphys Daedalus. Very nice. Yo. Bit, bit like Shenron, kind of like fused with a Digimon or something. Very nice. Okay. So that's a rare. And the next one. Ooh. So I think this is a um, super rare, I think, is it? I'll correct myself if I'm wrong in the uh, thing below. We have an Auto Rocket Dragon. Yo, that's so cool. So it's a dragon made of guns and uh, <laughs> and rockets, basically. Yeah, very nice. Okay, well, it's been a very successful two packs so far. Okay, on to the third one. So I'll speed up just a little bit here. And yeah, so my aim for buying these really is to kind of like have a bit of a collection, I suppose, because... Um, I bought the 2018 Advent Calendar. I've been really enjoying that so far. I, I hear the cards in it aren't, like, very competitive or anything, but honest... Oh, I've really messed that up. Okay, the rares at the start, then. Uh, Subterra Behemoth Fiendess. Yo, very nice. This is a Link monster as well, I believe. And, um, yeah, so this is a super rare, I think, again, because... So I think Borrel or Dragon must have been like a higher rarity then. I wonder if it's a particularly like uh, worthwhile card or something. Remote Rebirth. It's a trap card. We have FA Pit Stop again. We have a Capacitor Stalker. Yeah, there's a lot of um, monsters in this set that are kind of like uh, Cyborg Insects, if that makes sense. World Legacy Clash. Yo. So a lot of monsters uh, going on there. Ah, that looks familiar. That's the um, World of Darkness trap card, I believe. We have Defect Computer. Compiler, sorry, not computer. Okay, cool. So that has like a um, counter effect. I'm reading some of these, but um, obviously I'm editing, so it doesn't take too long. FA Off-Road Grand Prix. Nice. Some more uh, support for the FA Archetype. Archetype! That's the word I was looking for before. Mr. Boy, M M Mr. Boy, okay, uh, another Link monster, ah, Link, two. So I don't know if it's, like, I can't remember how Link Zone works, ah, there we are, and we've got Backup Squad, and that was our rare. So I majorly messed up there, where uh, that should have been there, okay, well, two Super Rares, uh, and a Secret Rare, and, I mean, Technically, we got rares in every pack as well, but I presume that's kind of the standard. Uh, right, so, on to pack four? I think it's four, yes. Right, let's rip into this. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, to the front. Please don't be... Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Okay, so, three to the front then? Should it be three... Okay, well, whatever. So it's X Crawler Qua uh, Qualia Qualiarch. Another super rare, very nice. So I presume at least a super rare then is guaranteed in every uh, pack. We've got a Crawler Axon. I can kind of see what um, the description meant now about kind of creepy uh, monster kind of things. Ooh, we got a Sniffer Dragon. Very, ver very nice, I guess. That's a... Very interesting design, anyway. Um, next up, we have a Crawler Receptor. That's nice. Man, this Crawler archetype, I've never heard of them before, but I've clearly got quite a few cards. Ooh, F.A. Whip Crosser. Now, I really like the F.A. Um, archetype. Might look in more to that. Um, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! physically or anything, but, you know, Crawler Ranvia. I believe we had that previously. Uh, we have... And this Thocket Dragon. Wow. Oh, oh wait, hang on. Sorry. Uh, Anis Anis Rocket. Wait, is that 
That's a slightly different artwork. I think that's a different dragon, but there was that rocket dragon pulled earlier. Uh, we have a Crawler Gleal. Very nice. Actually, I don't know what the hell is going on with that one. That's a very weird... It's like... Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Lots of chains and stuff. Ooh. And our rare is Elemental Grace Doriado. Ooh, she's very cute. Very anime, very waifu material. And yeah, so her attack and defence clearly goes up through some kind of effect thing or whatever. Alright, on to pack five. We are exactly halfway through. Oh well, not quite halfway through yet, but uh, we're getting there. Alright then, I'm trying to keep these packs kind of in good condition. Uh, just want to keep one or two ready, so I guess three to the front then. Let's begin. Oh, thank God it's not a rare remote rebirth. Um, we have X Crawler New Rogos. Oh, that's a very nice one. So I guess the X Crawlers are the um, Link monsters then, and the Crawlers are kind of the you know non Link ones. Leng Ling, the Griffin looking. Two-headed griffin? Okay, two-headed griffin from what looks like Chinese mythology. We have the accumulator. The accumulator. Very nice. Um, probably works with something, I imagine. Oh, yeah, okay, so that effect's actually pretty cool. It's attack equal to the combined link ratings of all link monsters on the field times 300. So, um, yeah, that's got... Decent potential, I suppose. Again, I don't play this game. Uh, we have that one again. Uh, so <laughs> maybe he is really useless. Anisthrocket Dragon, uh, yet again. We have a self-destruct ant. Okay, oh, there's a bomb. Interesting. I guess maybe that works with the crawlers. Uh, I do not know. And we have Backup Squad. Yo, um... Kind of doing the Ida hand motions from uh, My Hero Academia there, and telling the poor orc not to not to come with him or to go somewhere else. Okay, so it's a like draw magic card. Every thousand uh, damage you take, you get to draw one extra card. Which I don't know is <laughs> is drawing a card like that big in Yu-Gi-Oh because that doesn't seem really worth it. Ooh, yo, we got number forty-one Baguska, the terribly tired tapir. Now. I really like the um, number cards, the Xyz number cards, because um, I actually watched Sexel mostly. I haven't quite finished it yet, but I really like the kind of um, number convention and stuff. So I wasn't expecting that, but there's a there's a there's a sleepy tapir. Very nice, actually, really nice. This is uh, maybe not quite as nice as Borrelo Dragon, but you know, not bad. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Didn't realise there were numbers in this. Okay then, so, let's put that back in the pack. It's time for the sixth pack. Um, yeah, so, so far we've had one secret rare, ultra rare, whatever they're called, um, and then the rest have been super rares. However, uh, we've not come across any doubles yet, which is really nice. And, you know, so far all the, um, all the super rares have looked really nice as well, so... You know, it's not like I begrudge not getting everything as a secret rare. Okay, let's begin with uh, Capacitor Stalker. I believe he appeared in our first pack. Ooh, Amazon S Empress. Uh, oh yeah, I think pulled her as well. We have F.A. Pit Stop again. We have Duck Duck Dummy. <laughs> oh, okay, Duck Dummy. Very, it's it's a rabbit. Protecting another rabbit? Okay, very interesting. It's a Gemini monster. I'm vaguely aware of Geminis. I sometimes use them in Duel Links. We have World Legacy Pawns. Ah, that's cool. So there was World Legacy Darkness. Now there's World Legacy Pawns. Uh, we have a Nimble Beaver. That's nice. That's just a beaver carrying stick. Um, okay, and his attack and defense aren't particularly good. Ah, that's cool. So it works with the Nimble Architect, so when he's summoned, you can summon another uh, level 3 or below Nimble creature. I'm sure there's some kind of uh, um, archetype out there. We have Link Infra Filter, again, uh, to work with Link Monsters. Ah, I'm talking about Link Monsters. 
we have a twin triangle dragon. That's pretty cool. His hands are triangles. Or he's making triangles with his hands or something. That's kind of cool. And he's a link minus two. Or a link two. I'm not too sure. Ooh, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> this is hollow. It was just at a weird angle. And we have a Metaphys Ragnarok. Yeah, man. Look at that angry dragon. Uh, don't Google angry dragon, by the way. I had a friend who used that as a screen name once. And it uh, wasn't pretty. Anyway, yeah. that. Uh, but what is pretty is this card. Yo, it's really nice. Uh, yeah, that's... Man, the illustrations on all of these cards have been... Absolutely top notch so far. Um, I'm quite pleased, really, that I bought these now. Uh, it did indeed cost me ten pound overall, but you know, I, I have a friend who got into Yu-Gi-Oh uh, back and forth for a while competitively, and I know that ten pound is nothing uh, in terms of buying cards and stuff. So, uh, and yeah, this is just a bit of fun as. A lot of videos on my channel are quite literally me just buying random packs of random cards and opening them. Uh, right, so let's begin with X Crawler Neurogos again. A lot of X Crawlers now, which is nice. Cyburst Beacon, very nice. So you know what Cyburst you're in. Uh, we have no Dark Angel. Okay. Uh, nice. I was going to say cute, but then, uh, well, kind of cute, kind of odd. Very nice. Okay. Lovely, and it's a fairy type. Ooh, yeah! Oh, okay, it's an Xyz, but it's not a number. We have a uh, Lyrilisk Recital Startling. That... That feels like that's a Google Translate that's gone wrong. And, of course, this has some kind of effect as well. Because it's Attack and Defense R0. We have, ooh, Goki Headbat. Interesting. I'm aware of the Goki cards, so... That's kind of cool. Oh, we have the um, World Legacy Pawn again. Oh, sorry, I'm pulling down that there. We have Dragonoid Generator. It generates Dragonoids, I suppose. And there's a Dragonoid there who's appearing from the shadows or something. And our... Yo, hello. And we have an Altergeist uh, Prime Banshee. Ooh, that's a, that's a very... Um, it's a very nice piece of artwork. So that's his head, I presume. With all his tentacles coming out. Because, um... Yeah, okay. So that's an Altergeist card. Very nice. So yeah, so... As it, as it happens, I guess, um... You know, Ultra Rares or whatever aren't as common... Uh... As I thought they'd be. Because this is like pack 7... No, this is pack 6. This is pack... Wait, no, that's 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So we've had one super ultra rare and the rest have been super rare so far. Let's see, can we get one more ultra super awesome rare thing? Three to the front, not four. And let's begin with... Oh, Capacitor Stalker, looking familiar. Ah yes, Leng Ling. We have F.A. Pit Stop. Ooh, okay, we have a... Oh, no, uh, d uh, defect compute, compiler. I'll say, yeah, because I said it was computer last time. Uh, we have a Crawler Glial. Ah, yes, that's the one that... It's an odd body. We have Crawler Spine. Ooh, not pulled that yet. That's a very nice crawler. Well, uh, maybe not nice is the word for these. These are meant to be weird. Ooh, Link Restart. Uh, clearly something for Link Summoning. Oh, we have a backup squad. Ah, yes, that one again. Oh, is that in rare now? Was that rare? First time I pulled it? I can't remember. Ooh, and we have X-Crawler Qualiarch. I believe we pulled this one before. Or maybe we didn't. But I think this is like the second pack or whatever. Very nice, though. I really like the um, blue of Link Monsters and stuff. Right, well, that leaves us with just two packs left. This has been a very long video. Um, I apologise if you're a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh fan and um, I'm just kind of yelling at the screen, oh you you know you pulled something really good there or, or really terrible I suppose and 
Um, and yeah, as I said, I know nothing about the specifics of these cards or how useful they are or whatever. Um, but let's go back with Altergeist Kung Query. Ooh, okay, it's like a centaur thing guy robot thing. Okay, nice. Um, we have Xcrawler Nirogos again. He's been popping up a lot recently. Ooh, we have our ah, Sniffer Dragon, the the odd kind of dragon, I suppose. I mean, they do kind of sniff with their tongue, don't they? We have Self Destruct Ant again with his bomb with the cute thing. Ah, we have Duck Dummy. Uh, World Legacy Pawns. Our rare. Our rare. I always do that. Our rare is a Metaphys Daedalus. I think this is like a super rare. Oh, yes, it is. This is Overdone Burial. Ooh, very nice. Oh man, yeah, the the eyes glow when you like. Ah, that's really nice. That's a very long effect, so I'm not going to bother reading it on camera. Very nice. Okay, cool. So that's two ultra rares. I am incredibly happy with that. That's, um... Why have I heard of Borrelow Dragon before? Thinking back. Um, I think it's in deck profile I watched or something. Because whilst I don't play it, I do like to try and kind of keep up with the game a little bit. Just to see what's going on. Um, plus it's fun to watch people open Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, you know. So, right, this is our last pack. Will it bring us the best luck? Can we believe in the heart of the cards? Let's begin with FA Turbo Charger. Ooh, uh, we have Mecha Phantom Beast Riton. Oh, it's a plane? Okay. <laughs> it's a, yeah, nice. It, it's a plane. Cool. Um, a Mecha Phantom Beast? Are they just like... Is it like Cars from the um, Disney Cars universe? Nirogos again. What up, my dude? Oh, we have a Lunar Light Crimson Fox. I think we had a different Lunar Light before, or maybe it was uh, this fox. There's been almost 90 cards in this video now, so I'm starting to forget things. We have a defect compiler, a crawler gleal, Ooh, yay, the dragonoid generator, and to end it all, I draw a quiet life. <laughs> ah, well, nice. Okay, see, they're just chilling, and um, you know, at the end of the day, isn't that what's important in life? Chilling out with your best bud, who is dressed as a Roman soldier, whilst you have shades on. Alright then. Well, thank you for sticking around this long. If you did, I managed to get quite a few things. Uh, I'll pull that borrow load out just once more to show you all. Because I think he's probably the best one that I got. Um, that's not him at all, hang on. All right, yeah, so there we are, Borrelow Dragon. So, uh, as I said, thank you very much for watching. I shall leave some links to videos uh, in annotation form by here. There's, like, I'll leave a playlist and a random video or something. And, of course, if you'd like to subscribe, you can, but don't feel pressured to. Um, I shall be back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos soon, actually, because I ordered another ten packs. Five of two different sets. Um, so that'll be fun, so stick around for that. And until next time, goodbye.